Now, no matter how much I search, I cannot find the rumored secret PP hidey hole was mentioned in the note in the patient room. Oh, because he was just being paranoid. I mean, really now, thinking people are watching you. Who does that? I know there's no one watching me. <laughs> okay, moving right along. Any interesting in the vents? Nope. Not a dicky bird. Turn that off. Just in case, don't work face first into a guard. There's always a way in. Hmm, this is where we're supposed to be going. However, there's a lot more shops to explore first. Because uh, I want all the goodies. I'm not content with merely doing what I'm supposed to. I want, I want all the items. We are a greedy, greedy man. Which is admittedly how we got into this problem in the first place, but... Shush. Moving right along. Let's go back this way. Uh, and over here. Gonna rob the accountants next, I think. I mean, it's like one step up from a lawyer. Which means you're still two steps down from a cockroach. Uh, hey, first time. Perhaps I'm actually getting better at this. The wonders never cease. Let's close that. Okay. Now I know. This guy is still kipping in here, so... Let's try not to knock his bottle of gin flying or anything like that. Can't see any reason I'd want to move that chair. Anything interesting on there? Nope, just parchments. Ledgers. That it's a gold bookend, yet straight I can't take that. Interesting. Seems to be anything up there. Nope. Alright, fair enough. Anything down here? Nope. Hmm. I can't expect one of those bookcases to move at some... Ah! Ah! Uh, oh. Okay. So what did that do? No, nothing in the cup. Ah! Okay, secret compartment in the wall. Secret number four! Yes! You take all your spell change as well. You and your stupid hat. Really, who wears a fez? Anything over there? Just a book and some glasses. And I'm reasonably certain we've already discovered that glasses don't count as loot in this particular mod. So we're going to avoid that. Well, avoid, ignore, however you want to put it. Uh, okay. I'll do for now. Close this. Like we were never there. Ah, speaking of which, probably should close that door as well. Though perhaps that's slightly pointless, so I'm not going to put the boards back. I don't think it's even possible. What else we got? <gasps> Jewelers! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Except that door is just a texture, it's not a real door. That's not... How can you have a game where I steal stuff and I can't get into the jewellers? That seems grotesquely unfair. Uh, okay, antiques. Also can't go into the antique shop. Again, that would be... But I can go into the plumber's apartment. <laughs> okay. It's-a me, a Mario. Don't you touch my shit. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. Just full of garlic. Uh... The wrong stereotype, but there you go. Ooh, I'll take all of that. All those coins, collected over many worlds. Now they're all mine. See, there he is, just dreaming of cake. And princesses. Mostly cake. Uh, oh. Ah, you sneaky plumber, you. I'll be taking that. Secret, yes. Mm. Oh, satisfying on a level that's probably illegal in two countries. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Moving right along. Luigi. Where you at, Luigi? Luigi Buffer Best? Oh, Luigi. You're sitting in the dark drinking. I mean, I know Nintendo has treated you badly, but still. Or perhaps this is just... How you deal with the nightmares from all the ghosts. Quite possibly. That's distressing. That's why they say you should never meet your heroes, right? 
Boop. Yep. Spooky times. Try not to freak out. No PTSD needed right now. I'm just going to take... Yes. Okay, he doesn't care. Excellent. That's all I really needed to check. I... I don't know. Apparently Cockneys need to stand to drink, who knew? Plus that's why there's never any seats in bars. At least here in the UK. Alright, stay strong, brother. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Alright, is it worth moving all of this crap? Quite probably not. Uh, there we go, token effort. I heard a door. I heard a door. Where'd that come from, up here? Hello? Hello? <gasps> it's Princess Toadstool. Peach. <coughs> Bloody hell, she's armed! I mean, finally, but still. That battle skirt. <laughs> Why do you think you are a legionnaire? Boop. Perfect crime. What do we get? What have we got? Lots of movable boxes. Anything in the ceiling? Nope. Anything underneath the packages? Not that I can see. Okay. Big box. Can't move big box. Anything behind the big box? Go over there. Big box. Uh, uh, nope. Okay. Slightly pointless room. This is supposed to be somewhere I can hide. And then dart in and out of Missy's room. I'm assuming she darts back and forth. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. As if on schedule. Of course, we are going to have to give her an adjustment. For free, of course. Ah. Um. Well, this is embarrassing. I swear, this never happens to me. Oh. Hmm. He's coming this way. What do you... Stop that. Make a decision, woman. You co... Oh, God. Not that decision, though. Uh, surprise! Oh, my. That's very kind of you, but... I'm already spoken for. Hmm. Excuse me a second. That looks... That looks secrety. No? Hmm. I could have sworn. Yes. Lantern on, for my own peace of mind. Nothing else. I don't know why I bother turning the candle off when I've literally got a light source strapped to my groin. It's kind of pointless, wasn't it? Okay, speaking of pointless, this is a second pointless room. Hmm. Okay. Literally nothing in here. I am confused. Uh. Okay. There we go. Nope. Nope. Okay. I. I don't remember what the point of this room is. I know there is a point because I remember. I remember having to get here, but I can't remember why. Oh, this is going to bug me. That I'm going to remember this in like half an hour as well. I have to come all the way back here. Alright, fine. That's fine. I can deal with that for now. Uh, is there anything in here? Is that... <sighs> There's like a square on the wall. That's obviously something, but I cannot for life of me figure out what. Does that mean there was originally a box against there that I can now do something with, or...? 
Hmm. Over there. That over there. That over I thought. Nope. Hmm. No. Can't seem to interact with anything. Okay. Yeah. So it'll come back to me. Eventually. You know, like I say, half an hour or so, or I'll be at work tomorrow and suddenly scare the crap out of my colleagues by suddenly shouting, Eureka! As I realise what it was I was missing. Oh well. Never mind, never mind. I know. Took me a whole, what, 40 minutes to break out into the old sayings. It's locked. Thankfully, locks are nothing to me. The master of unlocking. God. I was watching the uh, the missus play for Resi Zero a few weeks back. It was bloody adorable, it really was. I really wish I could have got her to take part in more projects over the years. Or well, any projects outside of what, the one the she did Lord back when we first met. Thing. Oh yes. Oh... Uh, Five finger discount. It's one of the things I've always wished that we could have done more of. I don't know, perhaps if I actually do more videos I can eventually convince her. I doubt it, but you know, I can dream. Yes. There we go. Perhaps streaming. If I could get her to agree to stream one of the horror games we've got to play together. I'm trying to get her to go through all of the Silent Hill and Resident Evil series. She's most of the way there. Well, I say most of the way there. She's played the Resident Evil series, and she has played... What? Bits and pieces of Silent Hill. So usually I end up playing the majority of the game on her behalf. Seriously, it, it is adorable. Uh, yep, yeah, that's mine. Uh, nothing else. That is mine. Anything over here? Nope. No? Mm, no? Okay, fair enough. I shall mosey on out of the shop, although I'm curious as to where the proprietor is. His bed's down there, but he's nowhere to be seen, which is... odd. They get alchemists are weird people. Especially in these games. Where they're borderline mages, and mages are outright freaks. All silly hats, and pockets full of piccadilly. Strange people, seriously, strange. Ah, and speak of the devil and she shall appear. Currently messaging me. Right, I'll take a pause in a moment and I'll... I shall respond. Like a good boyfriend should. But first, it's time to break in. Okay. Casually does it. Just inspecting the window frames. There's no need for anyone to be alarmed. And, oop, that painting is defective. I shall take it with me. Don't worry, I can, uh, I'll find someone to take it off your hands. You don't need to be embarrassed. Not anymore, at least, anyway. Kitchen. Oh, bugger. Run away, run away. Become one with the drapes. Oh god damn it. Of course the serving wench is coming this way. Uh, ah, she's closing the door. Excellent. See, I'm a friend to the working people. I have given her a break. In her coccyx, but a break nevertheless. Ooh, I'll take that. It's expensive. What else she got for me? Dripping. Oh, okay. There is an attic. How do I get to the attic? I can see a ladder, but the ladder doesn't come down. Hmm. How do I... Refrigerator? Boar's head, cheese, human leg. Fish? Who the hell has cheese and fish? Weirdos. Sir, uh, I know. Shirtless inside a freezer. 
Must be from Manchester. Uh, ah, this way. <gasps> no, that's lights. Lights, turn off. off, off. I know there's other people apart from her around here. Although, oh, bugger it, why not? Did you see what I'm doing? Aha, there's a switch. And not the Nintendo variety. Okay. Just in case guards come instantly running when I do this. Not that I would. Save scum. No, I totally would. Ah ha ha! The perfect crime! The, the perfect crime! There we go. Okay. So, lantern on so I can see what I'm doing. Ominous music is ominous. Here in the creepy attic. This is exactly what I don't need in my live game, but thank you anyway. That's why if things start running in the distance, I'm... I'm out of here. I've played Amnesia. I don't need to play it again. Hmm. Could you kindly bugger off out of the way? Undefined package of something. Okay, water arrow. That's nice. Uh, what's that? Can't be all this up here. A couple of what boilers and a bucket. I I severely doubt that's all that's up here. Severely doubt. Get oh, for God's sake! Get out of my bloody way! There we go. Hmm, okay. How about if I move... Well, that was fortuitous. Well, now that I've played Tetris for a while, perhaps we can actually get on with things. Anything under the box? Nope. Okay, what is the point of being up here? There's a tiny cage. Ooh, a safe. Aha, now we're getting somewhere. Ah. That noise means it requires a key, doesn't it? If I remember. Yeah. If you try and open something, it makes that jangly noise. That's the game telling you, you need to specifically find a key. Your lockpicks will not open this thing. Okay. Can't say, get out of the way. There we go. Uh, okay, so where am I going to find the key for this thing? I'm presuming it's not actually up here that I need to... Nope, can't stab it open. Much as I'd love to be able to. There are some problems in life that cannot be solved with violence. Or rather, it takes a more creative type of violence that's usually worth the effort. Uh, no, the key wouldn't be up here, that'd be stupid. Okay. So, note to self, when we find a safe key, remember to come back here. Oh, for God's sake, ladder. Yep, I'm definitely playing Thief again. Ooh. Oh, that could have been dangerous. That I'm not wearing tap dancing shoes like a certain master thief that I don't think we're allowed. Oh, I made a mess. That we're not allowed to mention, I don't believe. That statue. Looked like a person for a second. And that person looked like a statue. Must have been a bad razor. Mm, go to sleep! <laughs> ah, the perfect crime. Alright, stick you in the freezer as well. Along with the other chap. Well, at least you've got a shirt on. You're at least vaguely sensible. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is not the time for games. We slap you with a haddock. There we go. Okay. Well, I am going to start save spamming now. Because this is, you know, the actual bit of the game that we should be doing. 
So I'm presuming it's going to be a bit more difficult than all the rest. Presuming, anyhow. Okay, anything else hidden on here that I can swipe? Nope. Okay. Pighead. Ah, arrows. I presume that's in case I'd managed to spend all my arrows before finding the lever. Hey, buddy. Ah, you must be Lord Dicker. What fabulous pantaloons you have. I may have to swipe them. Uh... No. Really, they are fabulous. I'm going to take all of this. <laughs> Soon as your back is turned. Good. Now you're going to keep trekking back and forth, I'm presuming. Okay. Do you tend to walk around your house just saying stuff to nobody quite a lot? Or do you, are you assuming that any noise you hear are the guards and the common folk do must be given? Me? Quite probably, considering you weren't even looking at me. Okay, so that, that. Uh, let's give you a bump on the noggin, shall we? Uh, oh, shh. Um, fuck, fuck, fuck. Something over there? No. Nah, he fell for it. Uh, more tea, Vicar. <laughs> ah, quickly, quickly. Mr. Quickly. You can find a suitable place to dump you. Uh... Ah, there you go. We can dump you by the chamber pot. That's kind of, uh... Oh. Did you swallow that? Or are you just that rich you use precious metals to wipe your backside with? That seems grossly inefficient. Painful, too. I suppose when you were that rich... Yeah, I can afford to mess around and turn the lamp on now. No, can't read the paper. Garrett's not a fan of the mainstream media. Or not Garrett, should I say. Definitely not Garrett. Anything up there? Nope. Okay. Nothing in the fireplace. No switches that I can discern. So I think we're safe to move on. Uh, ah, the study. That's mine. I can tell because it's uh, it's in my pocket. Aha! Key. Perfect. Safe key. Aha ha ha. Another night, another storm. Seems rainy all the time. Not going first. Going rather tiring. It's hard. The poor people. Damn them. Complete place. Nowhere. Incompetence everywhere. Oh, I know the feeling. Trust me, I know the feeling. <laughs> it's very frustrating. I'm sure it is, dear boy. I decided formally to write a warning note to my staff about their incompetence. I trust much, but what I do ask, I expect to be completed as soon as possible and to the highest quality capable. It took them five weeks just to move a few boxes into the attic, and now after two weeks of my lights are still flickering and the door buzzer still does not work. I to just fire all of these fools and start anew. I suppose the problem then have to train new servants and guards again. It was already a long and tiresome ordeal, hiring the first lot of fresh bar. Yeah, that's fine. So soon as we're supposed to actually find out about there being something in the attic, and then go looking for a way to get there. I seem to be doing everything in reverse. I can't even claim that's because of having played before, but... I mean, some of this I remember, some of it I don't. In fact, large sections of this I don't. It's just the way I tend to approach this style of game, just to explore every nook and cranny. Often meaning I find stuff that I'm not particularly... I can't... well, the way these games are designed, it's not really a case that you're not meant to find stuff, but more that... It's, a, it's really possible to find stuff long before you find the clues that are supposed to encourage you to backtrack and explore. If you're someone who already tends to explore, then you're gonna find all this stuff and then later on find the notes that are there for the uh, the other type of player. 
My phone is still buzzing at me, letting me know my lady love wishes to converse. I think I'm nearly done. I think that's all yeah. What have I got to do after this? I think I've got to find a diagram of some sort, and that's it. And the level's over. There we go. Necklace found. Gold bullion acquired. Which puts me well over the total that I need. Marvellous. So now all I need to do is... I think this was a schematic I'm going to find. I'm sure it is. At least I'm reasonably certain. Well, even though I say this, I'm first going to scour the rest of the house for any goodies that uh, may be left over. Because as I say, incredibly greedy. Although, admittedly, it is slightly pointless me doing this because... Uh, this particular mod um, does not carry loot over into the next episode. Although there are... that didn't work. There we go. Although there are some of the mods on this uh, system, for want of a better term. Server, that's the word I'm looking for, server. That's the way this works, by the way, in case you were wondering. You download mods from a website server and then you install and play them. The engine package and like the textures and everything comes as like a standard thing and then the specific mods or programs you download to interact with that program. It's an interesting system, but it works. Uh, like, but I, I digress. There are some of the mods that actually do have like self-playing chapters that run almost like the original Thief games. They like complete one mission and you move into the next, you carry uh, loot across that you can then spend in shops and such. Uh, but I, if I remember correctly, this one doesn't do that. You're stealing purely for the sake of completing objectives. It's not so you can actually buy stuff in the uh, in the next episode. I'm still going to swipe everything I can get my hands on, just as a matter of principle. Cause I want to get as close to the loot limit as I can, just for those uh, those mad props. <laughs> Ah, uh, what is my life? Uh, take that. I shall take all of that, in fact. It's mine. I I... Nope, can't take the poker. Nothing else in the room? No. Oh, well. I don't mind, I can... Yep, just like playing Thief again. Getting stuck on doors I didn't realise. I refused to open. Because, uh, because I was standing slightly too close to them. Mm, that looks important. Mm. Are those? Hi. Are those lights or are those? Aha! They are gems. There we go. I knew I was looking at the right thing. Or well, the wrong thing to be now you look at it. Okay. Oh, it's a greenhouse. I wonder why the noise sounded like it was coming from inside. Like someone had recorded some rain outside and just hoped nobody would notice the sound effect didn't match. But we are actually in a greenhouse. Okay. That's fine. This is Oh, right. This is the vent that leads me back into the dock's office. Which means I need to... Where the hell is the thing I'm thinking of? Hmm... I don't know why I just picked up that plank. I really don't. Skelly. Uh, I really can't place where it is. I've been to everywhere in the on the map, haven't I? That didn't turn any. I just turned the lights off. That didn't activate anything. Hmm. Seriously, my mind is blanking here. I cannot remember for the life of me. Where... There's a se I remember there's a separate area where you have to do a jumping puzzle as part of it. I remember that. But I cannot at all remember how the bloody hell you get there. It's got to be something to do with an area I've already been to. I know that much. So if I... I saw that door load in. Uh... 
Oh, ooh, ooh, I think I know where it is. I think I know. If I'm remembering right, um, you go to the top floor of the plumber's apartments, I think. Uh, hold on a sec. Da, da, da. Scroll, how do I scroll? Mouse wheel? Yes, mouse wheel. Metro Tower nearby. Yes, it's in a tower. Wait. Tower. Wait, isn't it? Mm. Hold on. I want to check something else real quick, just to... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this. I apologize in advance if this turns out to be a pointless journey, but it's not exactly a huge map, so I don't think it'll matter. Because this is a tower, isn't it? This thing right ahead of me. Or is this a guard gate? Because you go... No, you can't even go in here, can you? Okay, electrical tower. Because that... Hmm. No, I think I, I think I was right the first time. You go into the, into the plumber's place, and then there is a, there's a ledge you can go across to get you into the electrical tower. I think. Yeah. But where is the? How do I get to the ledge? One of the windows up here must be openable. Uh, in here? No. This one? Here. Uh, ah! There we go. Okay, see? It all comes back slowly but surely. I really should have noticed the first time I was in here the fact that these windows are completely different from all the other ones. And blatantly, like, miniaturized doors rather than actual. Yeah, there we go, electric floor. Uh, ah, there's the boxes. Which means I need to cut the netting to make them fall down. I said cut the... <sighs> Hold on a sec, I need to figure out to get the right angle. Can I lean out here without just falling to my death? Uh, there we go. Okay. So now, I just need to get across there without dying. I can turn off the electrics and I'll be good. <sighs> that almost went badly. I'll be good to go. Then I'll jump. And... Nothing else I need to worry about. Uh, oh, perfect. Open that. Crouch and open that so it doesn't bash off my skull. And... That was a very loud noise. And surprisingly high tech sounding, I'm guessing that was ripped from the Doom Free files. Oh. Oh my. Autoerotic asphyxiation gone wrong. This is why you don't do this stuff without a partner. Some better off in the hands of a collector. After they pay me the right price, of course. You mean, can't just bash the window and escape? Right, fair enough. I'll uh, I'll leave him to his fun, and we, I do believe we've actually completed the level. Pretty sure all I need to do is get back to the sewer hatch, and that will actually be the end of it. Haha! Well, what do you know? Looks like I actually remember stuff, eventually. Alright, cool. So, with that in mind, did I close that? Yes, I did. Close that. Um, yeah, with that in mind, I guess we're basically coming to a close. So, I'd like to take the opportunity here to thank everyone who watched, and uh, to chastise all those who didn't, although they'll never hear this. So in the end, a positive message. <laughs> Excuse me, I could read the design, but apparently I can't. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and myself, and not Garrett. I don't know. I'll let you guys vote in the comments whether you don't want to see the second episode of this or not. If you do, just let me know. Until then, until then, thank you very much, and goodbye now.